Hey, my name is Steven Chancerulo, and we're going to be making mini meatloafs. Uh, in my bowl here, I already have some crumbled up uh, ground pork and ground beef. And I'm going to add to that some diced onion and some diced green and red peppers. And I'm also going to be using um, quick oats for this recipe. Uh, normally, you might use breadcrumbs for a meatloaf, but this is actually a little heart healthier. Um, so it's also a gluten free if uh, you're going to be making this for somebody uh, who does have a gluten sensitivity or allergy. And we're also going to add a couple of eggs, and that's just to help bind everything together. And for seasoning, uh, of course, we're going to use some, just some salt and pepper. I also have some smoked paprika and uh, fennel seed. And we're going to use a little brown mustard. And we've got uh, balsamic vinegar, some tamari, and also a little Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce is the only ingredient in this recipe that does have gluten in it, so go ahead and omit that if you are making it for someone with that sensitivity. And so once you have everything together, you're just going to dive right in with your hands and go ahead and just get that mix. You do want to be a bit careful not to over mix it. Uh, that can make the meat a little bit tough, um, but we do have a lot of stuff in here, so do you want to make sure it is pretty well mixed? Um, I like to just sort of fold it as best I can over and over again. And you'll uh, know when it's done, when it sort of all comes together as sort of one mass, and it'll be a little bit sticky, but uh, definitely not too moist. You want to make sure you get those eggs all mixed in. All right, so once we've got that pretty well mixed, uh, you're just going to go ahead and take uh, um, your muffin tin. That's what's going to make this a mini meatloaf. I've just got a standard size here. Uh, any kind you have will do. Um, and you're going to take just short of a handful and fill up the wells. Uh, you want to make sure you don't actually fill it up over the top. Uh, they come out looking a little bit like muffins, which isn't, isn't as exciting as you might think. Uh, and it also helps them cook more evenly if you've got them all uh, filled just, just to the top there. All right, and so once we get these filled up, you just want to make sure you clean up the pan a little bit. You don't want any little bits uh, in between the wells. They'll, they'll burn and it won't, won't be very pretty. Uh, and so once you're all set, you're going to pop these into the oven for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. Um, if you do have smaller wells, they will cook a little quicker, so you want to keep an eye on that. I happen to like mine very crispy, um, so I do tend to push it a little past 45 minutes, but obviously you'll just want to do it to your taste and, and eyeball it. All right, so these have come out of the oven. They're nice and crispy, which is great, because I don't know about you, but everybody in my family loves the ends of the meatloaf, and this is practically all ends. It's great. Um, I'm going to serve this just with some roasted carrots and potatoes. Um, you can really do this with any roasted vegetable that you like. Uh, you have steamed broccoli. Uh, really, anything goes. Um, you can also do these if you do them in a smaller muffin tin. You could also serve them as hors d'oeuvres at a party. Um, and they do make fantastic leftovers. Uh, you just throw them in the microwave, make them into a sandwich, put them with some mac and cheese, even just by themselves. Um, so I'm just going to show you the inside here and show you just how you can see that great cross-section of all the veggies and onion we put in there. You get a little fennel seed. Really fantastic. Hope you enjoy.